Hey, New Hope, Pastor Kerry here. I know most of you know that, but I think there may be a few kids tuning in today if they've heard about a friend who will be joining us in just a second. So you might want to pass this on to them. I think they'll enjoy it. But uh, kids, if you're there, I work with a lot of your parents and grandparents. and You might have seen me around church. But there's a good chance that you know my friend here is going to help us today, and that is Putan. Everybody say hi to Putan. Uh, Putan insisted on helping me today, and uh, oh, I hope I don't live to regret this. But um, uh, anyway, I think Putan just wants to be on the YouTube. Uh, but uh, Putan, are you going to be able to behave yourself today? All right, well, I guess we'll see. But I think Putan can help us uh, learn some things today. And so anyway, Putan, as you know, is a camel, or actually he's what's called a dromedary. Now, that's a kind of a big funny word. Uh, can you say dromedary? There's a little Mr. Rogers here. Uh, but anyway, uh, a dromedary is a camel with one hump. Now, there are camels that have uh, two humps, and we're not sure what those are, but Putan has one hump, and so he's a dromedary. Now, uh, what is it about this hump? I mean, uh, why does he have it, and, and what does it do for him, and what's it made of for that matter? Well, actually, the hump uh, is basically just made of fat, and uh, no, I'm not saying you're fat. Yeah, just it is what it is. You might as well be proud of your hump because it actually looks good on you. And the hump does some special things for the camel. You see, because of its hump, the camel or the dromedary basically has its own uh, supply of food and nourishment built right into its body so that when it can't get to a source of food or water, they can still survive for long periods of time. And, and that's why people use camels to make long trips across the desert because their bodies store up things that help them make it through those long, dry journeys. And, you know, there are things in our lives that you might wonder sometimes how you can make it through because it seems like it's going to be too hard or too long. Maybe all this stuff with the virus and having to be at home all the time and you can't be around your friends. And maybe that's kind of got you down. But, but for those long, hard times, it might seem like you're kind of going through a, a desert like Putan does here sometimes. And and we need to store up a supply of energy and nourishment, not just in our physical bodies, but in our minds and in our spirits so we can make it through anything. Now, I'm not talking about the fat or water like the camel might be able to store up for himself, but it's important as followers of Jesus that we store up nourishment for our everyday journey of life. Uh, but what kinds of things do we need to, to, to store up to get us through? Well, the Bible talks about some things that God wants to get into our lives like love and joy and peace and patience. And the Bible calls those things uh, the fruit of the Spirit because they're kind of like food for our spirit. And those are the things that will grow inside of us and give us nourishment, just like what's inside Putan's hump gives him nourishment when he needs it. For example, if you have love inside of you, then you'll be able to accept others and treat them right, even when they don't treat you right. Or if you have joy inside, it'll help uh, keep you in a good attitude when things are tough. Or if you have peace inside, it'll help you not to worry or be afraid of things. And, and well, patience, I, I think we uh, agree that patience would help us with about anything. So that's the kind of things God wants you to store up on your inside. But where do we get those things? Well, as followers of Jesus, our, our main source of nourishment is, you're right, God's word. And that's what he wants us to, to feed on, but not like that, Putin. But he wants it to get it into our minds and our spirits so we're ready for anything. You know, when the devil tried to tempt Jesus, you know, Jesus didn't give in because he said that he didn't just live on bread and regular food, but he fed on God's word. And another time he told someone that his food was to do what God wanted him to do. And the Bible even uses words like meat and milk to describe the things in God's word because it's like food to us. And if we feed on it, we're going to have the strength and energy to do what God wants us to do. Now, for one thing, the Bible says when we store up God's word in our hearts uh, that it will help us not to sin against God. So we'll know what's right and what's wrong. Or It says it helps us grow in our faith and, and that makes us stronger so we can get through anything. You might know the, the Bible verse from Philippians 4.13 that says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And that means we can make it through anything if we know Jesus and if we have his word in us. And so, 
You know, when you get God's word in your classes at church or they ask you to memorize verses or they give you things to take home to help you remember it, make sure you use those things. And that goes for the grown-ups too because, and we can't just keep those things at church. We need to take God's word in every day. So make sure you have a, a good Bible that you can read and, and remember to talk to Jesus about everything that you're learning and, and the asking him to help you make it through. And, and so you can store up that nourishment from God's word. So just like Putan here, you, you can make it a long, long ways because of what's inside of you. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps. And uh, what? what? You got to be kidding me. They haven't even heard you speak before and you want to sing? I don't, I don't think that's really a good idea. It, it, anybody out there want to hear Putan sing? Uh, uh, all, all right. Uh, this is your debut. You better make it a good one, so otherwise you're not going to probably get another chance. So, are you ready? All right. <coughs> yeah, all right, get it out here. All right. What do you need? You need music? It, uh, just a one, two, three. All right. All right. Here we go. Putin's debut. Uh, give him a listen here. All right. One, two, three, four. I'm a camel along the way, my friend. I'm a camel along the way. Well, I'm just so sorry I cannot stay. I'm a camel along the way. It's time to hit the dusty trail. I'm not afraid of wind or hail. So don't you dare pull my tail. I'm a camel along the way. I'm a camel along the way, my friend. I'm a camel along the way. Well, I'm just so sorry I cannot stay. I'm a camel along the way. Well, I may look kind of scary, because I'm big and brown and hairy. But I'm a friendly dromedary. I'm a camel along the way. When I walk along the Nile, I'm not afraid of crocodiles. Because I ain't seen one for miles. I'm a camel along <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, Putin, I said, I thought you said you weren't afraid of crocodiles. Uh, now, that's just Al, all right? This is Al the Gator, and he's not going to hurt you. But uh, anyway, that wasn't actually uh, too terrible, Putin. Uh, you know, you sounded a little bit like Elvis, okay? Uh, no, not the young Elvis, the old Las Vegas Elvis, you know, the one who was a little fatter. No, not fat again, but anyway, uh, what? Putin says he has something in common with the old Las Vegas Elvis. And uh, Putin, they don't even know who Elvis. These kids don't know, even know about Elvis. So, uh, anyway, what, all right. What do you have in common with the old Las Vegas Elvis? <laughs> Putin, that is, that is sad. He, he says they both played in the desert sands. Uh, yeah, I get it, Putin. You played in the real desert, and Elvis did at the hotel in Las Vegas. The kids don't. Their grandparents don't even know about that. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, I think it's time for you to quit while you're ahead here, but, uh, uh what? Putin wants one more verse. He said, he says that it's a tribute to Pastor Weaver. I'm not sure Pastor Weaver will appreciate that. Right, one more time, Putin, one last verse about Pastor Weaver. Okay. Uh, well, I love that Pastor Weaver. He's not as cool as Justin Bieber, but he's sure a strong believer. I'm a camel along the way. I'm a camel along the way, my friend. I'm a camel along the way. All right, all right, Putin. Uh, that's enough. Well, thanks for your help. Listen, whether you're young or old, get God's word in you. It'll be strength for your journey. Wherever that journey will take you, you'll be able to make it through with God's help. So till the next time, be at peace, keep the faith, and we'll see you soon.